Electric current and its effects. A cell. A cell is an arrangement in which chemical energy is converted into electrical energy. In a cell, chemical are stored. When used, the chemical reactions occurring in the cell produce electricity. Cells are of two types, primary, secondary. A primary cell cannot be reused after one use, whereas a secondary cell can be used again and again by recharging cell of a mobile phone. A cell is used to operate small devices like torches, toys, radio, TV remote and small tape recorders. Cells come in different shapes and sizes. A special cell called a button cell is nowadays used in calculators and watches. Electric circuit An electric circuit is a path through which electric current flows. The simplest circuit which we come across is the circuit consisting of a battery, two cells and a bulb in a torch. When the torch is switched on, electric current flows through the bulb which lights it up. When the button on the torch is pressed, the circuit is complete, that is, there are no gaps. Current is now able to flow around the circuit and the torch bulb glows. When the button is released, the circuit becomes incomplete. Current ceases to flow and the bulb goes out. Some common electric components can be represented by the following symbols. Electric cell Electric bulb Switch in on position Switch in off position Battery Wire An electric cell is represented by a longer line and a shorter, thicker parallel line. In the symbol of the electric cell, the longer line represents the positive terminal and the thicker, shorter line represents the negative terminal. For a switch, the on position and the off position are represented by the symbols as shown. For a few activities, we require more than one cell. So, we connect two or more cells together such that the positive terminal of one cell is connected to the negative terminal of the next cell. This is called the series combination of cells. Such a series combination of two or more cells is called a battery. A connecting wire is represented through a line. Sometimes in toys and other electronic gadgets, more than one cell is required. For this, we place a number of cells in series. However, in some of these devices, the electric cells are not always placed one after the other. Sometimes, the cells are placed side by side. Example, the battery compartment of a TV remote control. Circuit Diagram A circuit diagram shows the various connections in a circuit. The connections are shown through symbols for various circuit components. The dark line in circuit diagram represents a conductor through which the various devices are connected. In a circuit diagram of a cell, a bulb and a switch, a switch is an arrangement which can close or open a circuit. The direction of conventional current is shown with the help of a red arrow while the actual flow of electrons is shown with the help of a blue arrow. It is always the conventional current which is shown in a circuit diagram. The position SC shows the switch in the closed position and the position SO shows the switch in the open position. Circuit diagram for the torch in two situations. When the switch is open, when the switch is closed. The electric bulb. An incandescent light bulb contains a thin wire filament usually tungsten, that glows hot when an electric circuit is passed through it. 
in the presence of oxygen, the filament would burn up as a result of the high temperature. A glass bulb then is used to keep oxygen away from the filament. When electric current is passed through an electric bulb or lamp, it heats up the tungsten filament of the lamp to a high temperature. At this temperature, the filament emits both heat and light. When the filament is broken or fused, the circuit is broken and no current passes through the circuit. In this situation, the bulb does not glow. Heating Effect of Electric Current The production of heat when an electric current is passed through a wire is called heating effect of electric current. Many appliances work on the heating effect of electric current. Some of these devices are electric heater, electric geyser, electric toaster, electric iron, etc. All the heating devices contain wire in the form of a coil. This coil of wire is called an element. All heating devices have an element. Electric fuse An electric fuse is a short length of easily fusible wire put into an electrical circuit for protection purposes. It is an alloy of lead and tin, 63% tin and 37% lead. It offers a high opposition to the flow of current through it and has a low melting point. As soon as the safe limit of current exceeds, the fuse blows and the electric circuit is cut off. A fuse is inserted with each gadget which needs protection. It is inserted in modern power plugs. There are different types of fuses. The older one is made of two metal clamps fixed on a porcelain base with a groove in between. The fuse wire is connected in between the metal clamps which are inserted in the appropriate section of the circuit. These days, costly appliances are fitted with a cartridge type fuse. It consists of a length of fuse wire connected to metal caps at the end of a short glass tube. Nowadays, miniature circuit breakers or MCBs are being utilized for lighting circuits. Magnetic Effect of Electric Current Connect the free ends of wire to an electric cell through a switch and compass needle. It will be seen that when we switch on, the needle deflects from its original position and when we move the switch back to the off position, the compass needle comes back to its initial position. The needle of a compass is a very tiny magnet which points in north-south direction. It gets deflected when a magnet is brought close to it. This is called the magnetic effect of the electric current. Electromagnet Take a flexible copper wire and wind the wire tightly around the nail in the form of a coil. Connect ends of the wire to the terminals of a cell. Place some small iron nails near the end of the nail on which coil has been wrapped. You will find that the small nails cling to the tip of the bigger nail. Switch off the current and you will find that nails no longer cling to the bigger nail. The coil in behaves like a magnet when electric current flows through it. When the electric current is switched off, the coil generally loses its magnetism. Such a coil behaves like a magnet and is called an electromagnet. The strength of magnetic field in an electromagnet depends upon number of turns of the wire current passed through it. There are numerous uses of an electromagnet. A few of these are Electromagnet forms a part of many modern electrical devices such as the doorbell, telephone, loudspeakers, electric horn, tape recorder, electric motor, etc. Electromagnets with very large magnetic field are used in industry and 
municipalities to lift and transfer iron and steel articles as well as scrap very conveniently. For separating iron from non-magnetic materials, for example in metallurgy, we use magnetic concentration of some ores. In hospitals, bits of iron embedded in sensitive areas like the eye can be removed by an electromagnet. Electric Bell An electric bell is a common electrical gadget used in homes and offices. Construction and Wiring An electric bell consists of the following parts. Electromagnet It is a horseshoe electromagnet which gets magnetized when the bell push is pushed. Soft Iron Armature it is a soft iron metal piece to which the hammer is connected. When the electromagnet gets magnetized, it attracts the soft iron armature. Springy metal strips. The springy metal strips act like a spring and is useful in making and breaking the contacts. Hammer. It is a small magnetic sphere which strikes the gong to produce sound. Gong The gong is a metallic hemisphere which is struck by the hammer to produce the sound. Contact screw It is a screw used to adjust the contact between metal strip and the mains. Contact with it makes or breaks the circuit. When the circuit is completed, Current flows in the coil of the electromagnet which becomes magnetized and hence attracts the soft iron armature towards it. As a result, the hammer hits the gong and the bell rings. As the hammer hits the gong, the current is broken at point C as the springy strip loses contact with the contact screw. The electromagnet loses its magnetism and no longer can attract the soft iron armature. The springy metal strip is then able to pull the armature back, remaking contact at point C and hence completing the circuit again. This process is repeated so long the bell push is pressed and continuous ringing occurs.